Hello there, welcome to today's episode of Discovering Denim, where we are topping it off. Maybe we're even topping off the summer because I can't believe it, everybody's back in school and fall is right around the corner. I'm Lara and welcome to my channel, which is Sewing Up Style. And today's video, I am doing my collaboration with Grace from So Lovely With Grace, Asset from Stitch Treasures, and Shalisa from So She Designs. So if you are interested to see what exactly we've got going on, please um, hang out and we'll talk a little bit about this lovely shirt, which I am going to show you in just a minute. Today I'm going to try something a little different. Instead of making you wait until the end of the video for the reveal, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the reveal because there's some features about this shirt that I need you to see in order to have the pattern review make sense. So here you go. So what did you think of the, what did you think of the snakes? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> what did you, did you like them? I thought they were kind of cool. So I have to go kind of chronologically in my mind. This is a Vogue pattern. I have not, I don't remember the number, so I'll have to put it in later. It's a multi-pattern um, pack. So there is a shirt, there is a pair of pants, there's a skirt, there's a tank top, and then there's this button down shirt. There's about six pieces to this pattern. It has a front piece, a back piece, the cuffs, the yoke, the collars. That's what it was. Earlier, I've shot this like five times and I could not remember what the, like the sixth piece was. So that's the sixth piece I was forgetting is the collar. It's very easy to sew and it's ranked very easy, I believe. I didn't really have any problems. Everything matched up really nicely. The collar went on very well. I, th I think you can see it looks, I think it looks really great. You can't, I mean like, it's not sitting on me properly, but when it's sitting on me properly, it's very even. This is the second Vogue pattern I've made that the sleeves are gigantic. I was having flashbacks to that um, sweatshirt, the Vogue sweatshirt that I made with the boat neck. I'll put a, a picture in here but the sleeves were gigantic, um, as you can see in the reveal, but I can just turn it. You're supposed to gather it with a, cu with a cuff, and I was, when I saw how wide the sleeves were, and the cuff was small, and then with it being denim, on top of that, it would make a poof ball right at the, I was afraid it would make a poof ball right at the end of my, you know, around my wrist. Also, I'd already attached this snake, this snake right here. I'd already sewn it onto the sleeve. So I, it would have, if I put the cuff on, it would have kind of, you know, gathered all of that material in and it would have affected how you could see the snake as well. So I just decided to not even bother with the cuffs and I am glad I didn't. I actually really like it um, the way it is. I just hemmed a, I made a half inch rolled hem. So it's, I took an inch off of the end and just rolled it up. I actually cut off about two inches as well. They were really long, they were really big. And so um, this is the second time. So do you guys know, have you had the experience that Vogue patterns just run large? I made an, a large I should have made an extra large, but when I looked at the finished garment measurements, I would have been swimming in this in this jacket. And because of the experience with that sweatshirt, I was like, okay, we'll definitely size down. But I think I could have probably sized down even further. I probably could have made a medium and it would have been sufficient. <laughs> it would have been good, actually. I do like this. I like how oversized it is. And even if I do, lose a little bit more weight. Um, I don't think it'll look bad. I mean, it's just kind of an oversized jacket, I feel is the kind of the style. So I'm not, 
I'm not concerned about this the size like the large is okay but I, I still could have sized down even further you might be wondering why I chose snakes and the reason is I had chosen to make this jacket because I had seen similarly shaped kind of um, shackets uh, different places um, on some videos I've seen some like different patterns and I would already had this I'd been wanting to make this pattern so I thought well this will be a perfect um, a perfect opportunity for me to make this up but as I was cutting it out I thought you know it's kind of plain especially with this light colored denim I was afraid it would be underwhelming or look like a like a uniform coat <laughs> or something like that so I was already thinking how should I make this more interesting and I had contemplated um, color blocking, I'd contemplated adding some lace. And so when I was in Lincoln last weekend, I had gone to Joann's and I was looking at the, at the cosplay costuming section where they have like the unusual fabrics. And I saw um, some laces that I was looking at and this mesh snake, it's a flocked snakes that are on this mesh it was kind of hiding behind some of those um, some of those laces and I I they it was so cool I really thought they were really unique and interesting and I totally wanted to put them on my shirt <laughs> so I brought them home I bought just enough that I could have two large snakes and then there's a lot of small snakes bleh, a lot of small snakes and but um, on the on the mesh fabric, but um, I just bought enough and I cut them out and just sewed them on. And I have to tell you, it took forever. Um, cutting them out took a long time because I was very careful, and then sewing them on took a long time because I was trying not to get the snakes all twisty, um, you know, or have them slide around so that they'd lay flat and I think I think I did a good job <laughs> I really like this shirt a lot and Blake likes this shirt my youngest son he was like why didn't you make that for me and I'm like well I've got more snakes so I don't know if I'm going to just get a denim shirt or take one of the shirts that he has and put the snakes on it or if he's going to make me make him a shirt but even if he makes me make him a shirt jacket I will be happy to do that I think it's a very versatile pattern. You can dress it up um, with a skirt like I did today, or you can just wear it with jeans and a tank top underneath. So I think that's it about the pattern. I recommend this pattern if you're looking for something easy to sew up that might have a little bit of impact or that you can um, just easily hack or add things to and make it more interesting. This was a perfect pattern for that. If you're a beginner, it went together really well, so I highly recommend it for a beginner. And um, yeah, I hope that you will go and check out everybody else's videos. I will link Shalisa Osset and Grace's videos in the description box below and go check them out and see what they made. Um, we made it so that you could do any kind of topper that you wanted. So it could be a top, it could be a jacket, it could be a corset, it could be pretty much anything. And I have no idea what they made. So I'm very excited to look at their videos this today as well. Um, the only other thing is that I'm going to have my live stream again on Sunday. I think it is a fun time and um, I've had some people come and we just chat in the comments this last time while I was making the changes to the pattern that I am hacking to make a a unique suit coat <laughs> for my son in a, the collaboration that we're doing together. Um, we talked about music and we talked about um, things that we're making. We talked about fun things that we've made in the past. We talked about being who you are and wearing what you want and not worrying about what other people think. And so it's just been a really 
I, I've enjoyed it and I wish more people would come to enjoy it as well. It's not because I'm wanting your, your views, although that's nice too, but really it's because I, th I think it was a very friendly um, opportunity to socialize with other sewists. And any Stray Kids fans that are coming, um, I hope that they will stick around and just kind of maybe get interested in sewing or um, at least find it interesting to see how I'm making it up because it's turning out to look a lot like what is in the video. In case you don't know, I am the, the suit coat is coming from Stray Kids video from Red Lights. Okay, I think that's it. So thank you very much. I think I have been holding this uh, camera, so I apologize if it was a little wobbly, um, but I'm in the park and it's so pretty and it's so rainy. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go. I hope to see you Sunday. It is at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Sunday um, is when the live stream will happen. Thank you. Go check out everybody else's videos. And otherwise, if I don't see you Sunday, I will see you next week. I'm thinking I might try to do the next you asked for it, but there is a shirt pattern that I just recently bought that I kind of want to make. So mm, I can't decide, but you'll just have to come back on Friday and see what I did. Thank you. Bye.